Who here wants to save the planet? Well, if you do, you might think that wind or solar power are great ways to move away from dirty carbon emitting fossil fuels. Now, it's a wonderful image. The world's energy needs being met by a warm summer's day or a cool, pleasant breeze. But what stops the lights going out when the sun doesn't shine or the wind doesn't blow? Well, the answer lies in energy storage. We know that renewable power sources don't give us an uninterrupted supply of power. So it becomes really important for us to save some up for a rainy day. Now, the simplest way to go and do this is to use our wind turbine or solar panel to charge up a battery, which we can use later where and when we need it. Now, there's lots of different types of battery out there, but we simply don't have one that's green enough or cheap enough to do this job. And that is my project. The Zinc Air Rechargeable Battery. It's the bigger, better, greener, cheaper battery <laughs> that can store huge amounts of energy where it's generated and then dispense it where and when it's needed. Now, this battery uses zinc metal at the negative terminal and oxygen taken straight from the air at the positive terminal to generate electricity. But however, there's one major drawback to this technology. It cannot be recharged. Now, one of the main reasons that it can't be recharged is because when we use the battery, we take zinc metal from the negative terminal and dissolve it away into a liquid inside the battery, which is known as an electrolyte. When we recharge the battery, we need to put that zinc back again. But we need to put it back again just the way we found it, as a nice smooth surface. Otherwise, the battery short circuits and dies. Now, imagine this, if you will. You're painting your whole house. Some movers come and take all your furniture away. When you're finished painting, the movers come and bring it all back again. But you notice something. The bed is in the kitchen. The toaster's in the toilet. Things aren't where they were when the movers took them away originally. Now, just as a good mover would know, that the, to the toilet is not the domain of the toaster. A good battery electrolyte knows that to put the zinc back on the surface just the way it found it, nice and smooth. Now, I've gone away in my project and I've made some new battery electrolytes. And I found that I can put the zinc back on that surface. But small changes in the recipe lead to big changes in the way the zinc forms up. For example, if I add a little bit of water, the zinc forms as a smoother surface made of tiny little needles. Take the water away again, and it forms a jagged, horrible, spongy mess. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is toaster in the toilet territory. Now, these initial findings are my first steps towards creating the zinc air rechargeable battery, which could very well be the key to helping you and me save the planet. Thank you very much.